before we get into the actual pickups of today. This PS3, I was frustrated by this. <laughs> What is going on guys, welcome back to the free trading game collection challenge, we will talk about that in a second, but first, if you have missed any of the previous episodes to this series, there is a playlist for your perusal, I think there's nearly 40 videos there right now, so go check it out, you'll find out exactly how we've managed to acquire all this stuff for free, we don't spend any money on it, we do spend money in the series though, we go out and buy video game related items, bundles, etc, sell part of that on to to get the money back and then we use whatever's left over to, to trade into CEX or we put it on the shelf if it's something that I want. There's only about 5% of that shelf that I don't want. So things like Destiny 2 we managed to pick up in like a bundle. It's worth like 10 pence. I'm not going to put it in the bin so it goes on the shelf. Only 5% of the shelf is like that. Most of the other stuff is just what I actually want. It's stuff I either intend on playing in the future, have played and want it there for nostalgia reasons, or it's just an absolute banger and we need it in the collection. That's kind of where we go with this. So, let's talk about that first and foremost then before we get into today's episode. That is the newest addition to the collection and it was, drumroll, free. Yep. Yeah. I know, I can't quite believe it myself. The proof is on screen for you right now. There's the listing. Uh, I've had this TV for such a long time, it's outrageous. It's been down there, out of shot, for probably two months or so-ish. Month, two months. Um, the reason it's not been introduced into the series sooner isn't because I was just trying to eke out the content. It's because I was too afraid to put it on the wall. I put it off long enough. Yesterday was the day, and there it is. And my cat won't keep still, so the camera moves. But yeah, I've, I've managed to put it on the wall. I did it all myself, so yeah, fully expect that to be on the floor by the next episode. However, uh, at the moment, it seems fine. Uh, I was doing chin-ups on it earlier, and it's fine. So yeah, uh, there is a glare, as you can see. The uh, the window is literally like right there, so I can't really do much about it. If I put the blind down, you can just about see there. Um, it's going to be dark in the room, and yeah, and if I turn lights on, you get glare off it anyway, so unfortunately it is what it is, that is life. But, let's get into today's video. So, uh, we were meant to take the Wii in to trade today, unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you look at it, I can't leave, I was going to do it today, I was going to go early morning, and I was going to trade the Wii in, and we were going to get £33. I was going to ask about the Wii Motion Plus and see what they were going to say. And then I was going to wait for them to test it. I was going to go around. I was going to do a spending the profit episode while I was there, while I was waiting for them to test it. And then I was going to go around to the shops and film little bits here and there, come back, get the credit, and then buy whatever I wanted with it, right? However, my plans changed because I'm having something delivered later, which is part of this series. Um, I, I say later, I know the time now, I didn't know it earlier, so I couldn't really leave. Because I woke up this morning, it said out for delivery. I was like, right, well I can't really go anywhere now, because if I miss the delivery, I don't know what happens to it. I don't want it to be left outside, because it will go missing. And I don't know if it'll go back to some sort of depot, and I kind of want it now. So I've had to put that off. So fortunately, I've got enough footage and, and things for me to be able to do a spending the profit episode today. But I also have... Something that we're actually going to be able to make money on. So even though this episode is a spending the profit episode, it's not really because what I've bought at a boot sale will pay for everything that we buy here today. So we're not, we are spending the profit, but we're spending the profit from today's pickup. Let's get in to that pickup. So there is the game in question reloaded on the PS1. It says £3 on the sticker. I didn't pay £3. I negotiated down to 2 And here it is. This is the double box or the big box version, uh, it still says £3, like I said, it, I did honestly pay £2 for this. Um, this was quite late on in the boot sale, to be honest, and they had Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Actual Golf, I think it was there as well. I left those two because who cares? Uh, but yeah, this one sells for between 10 and 15 which I thought was quite good. The disc, there's only one disc, which did concern me slightly, but I had a very quick look on eBay, and everyone is selling it with one disc. It comes, if I can get the damn thing out comes complete with the manual which is in actually very good condition and the disc itself is a little bit scratched I won't lie to you but I have tested it on the PS2 and it works 
So who am I to complain? It won't be trade worthy. There is another booklet there as well. Uh, it won't be trade worthy for CEX, which I don't think matters too much anyway, because I think it only trades in for like four pound, maybe. Maybe it trades in for more. Maybe it trades in for a tenner. I can't remember how much it trades in for. It's on screen for you now anyway. But I know I can sell that on eBay for about 15 quid. So, or 12 pound to be very conservative. So that's a 10 pound profit. I am pleased with that. Now I did say that this will pay for everything that I buy here today. I lied. I've just counted it up. Actually, we spend a little bit more than that, but this will pay for the majority and then the cash profit in the series will pick up the slack. So it is a spend in the profit episode, but with a bit of a twist. Do I want to keep it is another question. No. So before we get into some of the other pickups, uh, we're looking at a PS1 here. It is boxed. Uh, they tell me that um, it's all in there, which you know doesn't really mean an awful lot to me because it could mean anything. They don't. They may not even know what they have. Um, she originally said forty pound, and that's when I sort of turned and walked away. Uh, but then she actually called me back and said that it was thirty pound, not forty pound, and her husband corrected her. Uh, which, I mean, it's not bad because the box itself is what gives it the value. However, uh, thirty quid pushing it a little bit had it been 20 and it had at least one controller in there and all the wires and the console itself and it was in decent condition i probably would have done it but because they started on 40 i didn't really feel like i could go back with 20 you know so i left it in hindsight maybe i should have just been cheeky and said hey i'll give you 20 but i did decide that i would just walk away from that one so this was a potential wii pickup uh, i was i wasn't tempted if i'm honest i was just about to say i was tempted i wasn't they wanted 20 pound but he really confused me because the the controller was there, it was official, the nunchuck was there and all the wires and everything that you need. Um, I asked how much, they said 20, but then he said, I'll do 20 and if you're interested, um, I could do I could throw in some games as well. So, but I said how much for everything and they said 20. So I'm thinking maybe they were just going to sell the console for 20 quid, which to be fair, if you want a Wii and you want to like actually play it or whatever, it's not a terrible price to pay. But I decided to leave it. This was the same day. If you remember last week, this was the same day that uh, I could have picked up the Wii for a tenner boxed and I decided against it. So I wasn't going to pay £20 for that. Some other potential pickups here. There was a Halo 5 game. I didn't ask the price of this and maybe I should have done, but Halo isn't really an expensive series. I did keep it in my hand for a brief second and I started flicking through. I saw Dead Rising on the PS3. Not something I really want on a PS3. I'd probably want to get it on the 360. And I don't think it's that expensive to pick up anyway. So unfortunately, nothing here in this bin. And finally, before we get into the actual pickups of today, this PS3, I was frustrated by this because the, the person behind the stall, or the two people behind the stall, just weren't paying attention to anything that was happening. This kid in front of me would not move and just kept fondling the PS3 camera. I was there for ages trying to get someone's attention and he just what and in the end just got frustrated. There, there was so many people at this boot sale, it was outrageous. And he just would not get out of the way. So I just left it alone in the end. Uh, by the time I went back around, it had gone. So for all I know, it was affordable. Maybe they did want a tenner, but I didn't see a controller. I didn't see any wires or anything. I just got annoyed and I walked off. So we are now into the first official pickup. And this was one that I saw a couple of weeks ago for £3. I think I, I put it in the video somewhere. And I, I even had a few comments saying that I should have bought it because it's a decent game and for £3 can't really go wrong. Well, I decided against it and found it again. So there it is for a pound and there we have it. That was a fantastic TV show at one point. And then it got to... Annoyingly, Negan is my favourite character, but when he got introduced to the series is when the series essentially took a downturn for the worst, and killing Glenn and Abraham and all the rest of it that happened after that was just an absolute... It, it just shouldn't have happened, in the way that it did especially. So even though this game looks decent and is a bit of a banger, well, The Walking Dead will always have a, a, a bittersweet place in my heart if you will but for a pound I'm not going to complain at that that is a very good price and I'm glad I waited to get it for a pound rather than spending three a few weeks ago the other uh, three pickups that I have for you are actually going to be from CEX now they don't have prices on the cases because I already recorded this took the prices off them put them on the shelf went to edit it and realized that the footage had corrupted so I have to do this again so uh, I think I remember the prices of these two 
the the last clip is actually not corrupted so you'll get to see the price on it but anyway the first two first one is going to be from 2014 and it is rise son of rome this was a launch title on the xbox one and even to this day it would stand up the graphics on this outrageous the jump from xbox 360 graphics to xbox one graphics were very very good it's not as good as the jump from like the PS2 Xbox era to the PS3 Xbox 360 era. That was mind-blowing. We will not see a jump that significant ever again, in my opinion. But the jump from the 360 to the Xbox One was quite good. And the graphics on this, like I said, they still hold up today. The gameplay is very, very good. It's a great game. How they didn't make a Rise Son of Rome 2 or something in that, like... Uh, universe again i just don't know uh, what a game if you haven't played that three pound what a game uh, up next is a game that i've only ever played in bits here or there and it's on the xbox 360 it is doom 3 this was four pound in cex it's a good game from what i can tell it's just because it's part of the doom series it's one that i want to pick up we have doom 64 obviously on the n64 we have uh doom Eternal? Do I, is it Eternal? We have a Doom on the PS4. There are two, but we have one. And now we have Doom 3 BFG Edition. I don't think there are any other Dooms on the 360, to my knowledge. We do need the original Doom and Doom 2 for the PS1, even though I played them on PC as a kid. Uh, we do need those. So those three pickups right there, we're looking at £8. We need to spend another 6 What game did I pick up for £6? So the uh, next game, and the final game, costs £6 on the PS4. I think you can get it on the Switch. I was going to say the Wii. Uh, the Switch as well, maybe the Xbox, I'm not sure. It is American Fugitive. This looks like uh, an indie game, not an awful lot to it, but the art style looks very, very good. It's got GTA elements to it because there are police chases. It's open world. It's top-down, so it's kind of, you know, GTA 1, GTA 2 kind of vibes. But... It's got State of Decay lighting in it, like it looks like, if you look, look at the back of it and squint, you'd think it was State of Decay. And I like that sort of art style, so almost like the, the entire game is, is at dusk. Um, I didn't know anything about it, I looked at the cover and I thought, that's interesting, looked at the back and I thought, yeah, go on, I'll do that. Six pound, I'll take a bit of a gamble. Since picking that up, I haven't played it, but I have looked at some reviews of it to, to see if I'd actually made a mistake. And from what I can tell, it looks like a game that I would really enjoy. So I am going to be playing that probably later on tonight, actually, uh, because it does... It's been sat down there for quite a while, maybe a few weeks now, and I've been waiting to do this video, and I don't want to play any of these games until I do the video so I can keep track of what I have for videos, etc. But um, American Fugitive will be a game that I play tonight. Let me know if you've played it in the comment section. And that brings us to £14. That is a nice little stack of games right there. Four games, one from the boot sale, three from CEX. They'll all go on the shelf and they'll pad it out quite nicely. Like I said before, <clears throat> I'm not putting games on the shelf that I never intend to play or haven't played in the past. So for example, Rise, Will I ever go back to it? Maybe I'll play it again in the future, but I want that in the collection because it's such a banger. I have fond memories of it. I loved it. It blew me away with the graphics. It is a great game, and for £3, it's a no-brainer. Doom, haven't actually played it past maybe testing it out for a console or something when I've worked in GameStation, but it's part of the Doom series, so it has to go in the collection. This for a pound, and that era of The Walking Dead was a good era. Now, don't get me started on it because I will go off on a tangent. I cannot wait for it to finish because I'm, I'm watching it because I'm invested. But I cannot wait for the series to finish. But that looks like it could be a decent game. If that was the Wii U, by the way, that would be like £75 game. That's crazy. And this one, never played it before. It doesn't hold any nostalgia for me. But it looks fantastic on the back. So I can't wait to sink my teeth into that one. And there we go, £14, the majority of which has been paid for by Reloaded on the PS1, which will be listed later on today, and hopefully it'll sell for in and around the £12 mark. We'll take £10, um, maybe a little bit less. I'm going to take £5, maybe £6 out of the total cash profit just to top up that so it will pay for these games. Because normally, I would just take £14 out of the cash profit, and that's how we spend the profit in these in these episodes. However, because we have this, uh, we'll take off maybe 8 or £10, and then we'll just add the rest, maybe £6, uh, off, or take, take the £6 off the cash profit, I should say. So there we go. New figures are on screen for you. 
Uh, the value of these games have been determined by how much I paid for them in CEX because it's basically retail. The Walking Dead, in this instance, what I'll do is I'll just add the CEX price onto the like the value because yeah, I picked it up for a pound, but if I wanted to sell it on, I could get more for a pound. I know I could. So because the other three games came from CEX, I'll just call it the CEX price, whatever that may be. For all I know, it is a pound. Uh, but there we go. Some nice games to go into the collection. In the next episode. I may or may not have some sort of mystery box to open. That's going to be interesting. And then I may or may not have a substantial amount of stuff to take into CEX. I don't know. But I do have the Wii, which is down there, boxed, ready and, and waiting to go. That will go in for £33. I will ask them about the Wii Motion Plus because you get 56 trade if you have Wii Motion Plus. Whether that's just the little thing or whether it's the controller with it built in I just don't know so I'm going to ask them about that and we'll see what happens if they say you get 56 if you just have the little attachment I'm just going to wait and buy an attachment and then take it into them and say hey I've got this Wii give me 56 pound what am I going to pick up I really don't know at this point but we'll have to wait and see if you've enjoyed that episode of spending the profit do me a favor and hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and until the next time goodbye